Welcome to this Canada Specialist Program webinar. Our first presenter today is Rick from Air Canada. Rick, please take it away. Thank you very, very much, Charlie. Um, first thing I'd like to say, my name is Rick Pomery. I'm the uh, Sales Manager for Leisure in Australia and New Zealand, and welcome back. Um, I uh, think this presentation will be informative for you. It's current and uh, always subject to change, um, but it's so pleasing to be able to uh, have the opportunity to discuss some things about uh, Air Canada. So today's topic is a little bit uh, topical. Uh, we're going to talk about Travel Ready, we're going to talk about Clean Care Plus, um, also our flexible booking options, um, Aeroplan, our partnership with Virgin Australia, uh, our flight schedule, uh, it's current, and uh, talk about our cabins, Vancouver Airport, premium service and some check baggage. But before we do, here's just a little teaser for you. So welcome back. Um, today we're going to talk about our Travel Ready. Travel Ready is all about a program that's in uh, Air Canada website uh, for all the information that you possibly would need or for your customer to have a quick look to make them feel comfortable about traveling with Air Canada. Uh, it's all about the, uh, the entry requirements, uh, testing requirements, talks about even arriving to the airport slightly earlier than we normally are used to. In fact, we actually ask for a three hour uh, arrival. Um, the features on the Travel Ready Hub, which is uh, the link on this website, which you will get uh, during the course, um, is all about the government entry requirements, COVID testing, travel journey, really important subject matters such as the health and safety, changes and cancellations, and where actually we're flying to at the moment. It is all subject to change, and uh, it is giving that a uh, bit of comfort back to your uh, customer. The Canada entry requirements, there are three real major things to focus on, and that is a negative test, um, proof of vaccination, and a health declaration. Air Canada will only allow travellers who are fully vaccinated to be on board. Um, also, please don't forget that an ETA or an ETSA were, may be required, and they're available on the Canadian government website. Air Canada Clean Care Plus. Um, it is a program that will give you and your customer peace of mind. Uh, the check-in uh, right through to departure. So check-in, boarding, on board, and also our lounges. We uh, do take pride in this. This is an award-winning biosafety program, um, and it does uh, certainly give the customer peace of mind. They do get kits on board. Um, we do have HEP filter uh, systems to capture all the uh, airborne particles. Um, it is a, a great way to feel comfortable about your um, customer's journey. Booking with confidence. Um, we all sort of uh, have had some uh, hair pulling situations with uh, lots of refund issues that went prior to uh, implementations of lots of programs throughout the airlines, throughout the industry. Um, so we have a, um, extra time to plan with extended ticket validity. Um, we also have a full refund system if your customer's flight is uh, involuntary cancelled. We also have a great program called Air Canada Travel Voucher. Um, it is giving your customer peace of mind, uh, but the important one is that if the flight is cancelled, Air Canada will fully refund. We also have a, a flex flexibility with our aeroplane bookings, and aeroplane is our frequent buyer. 
So to touch on Aeroplan, uh, Aeroplan program has recently been brought back into Air Canada and is one of the best uh, frequent flight programs in the world. It is one program that all the other airlines are coming into. Some key fe the features just on this slide here is that uh, every Air Canada seat on every flight using points, uh, there's no cash uh, surcharges and no restrictions, so making the flight reward uh, more rewarding and easier to do. Just to uh, quickly uh, flash on one of the key points on this slide, share points as a family. Members can combine points with up to eight family members for free uh, and get rewards sooner. And there has been a change to the program. Aeroplan points are earned based on the amount paid on the ticket. Another key uh, um, program is our status pass. Uh, eligible uh, members can share their benefits, such as priority boarding or lounge access for friends and family, even if that member is not traveling. So that's kind of, you know, there's great ways to earn and there's even better ways to redeem points. Aeroplan uh, is free to join in Australia and details are on the website. Part of that program is, of course, our new relationship with Virgin Australia. It is a growing relationship and we're really excited about uh, partnering with Virgin. Um, on this slide, you'll just quickly see that there are uh, ways of earning points uh, with Virgin Australia, um, and points are based on actual fly, uh, miles flown, um, and there are certain rules and regulations, of course, um, but you can visit all the information on the Air Canada website. So that's earning aeroplanes with Virgin Australia, aeroplane points rather, and on the flip side of that is earning velocity points with Air Canada. So there is a, a reciprocal rights on that. So we're very excited about this program. There's a lot more to come with the um, Aeroplan and Velocity and Aeroplan, uh, and sorry, Air Canada and Virgin Australia. So our flight schedule, well, we're back and uh, I'm excited about that. Um, we have a nonstop flight to uh, Vancouver and we are currently scheduled for three flights a week. Um, and then on the 10th of January, that will just increase to four flights per week. And then roughly about the 3rd of April, we're looking to go daily uh, for the services. And we may also bring in uh, another city that we previously had been Brisbane. Um, departure times are awesome. Um, you can see that 11.45 will allow connections um, in Sydney, from Brisbane, from Melbourne, from Adelaide, from Perth, from all major destinations. And the arrival time is just super in Vancouver that connects to our entire network, either domestically or uh, the USA. Coming home, it's exactly the same. It's a late evening flight, connects with most destinations and then arriving into Sydney at 9.05 again. It's great for the on connections if they're not stopping in Sydney. So that's three times a week between 17 December and 9 January. And then we're increasing to four flights a week um, in the, on the team. So we're excited about that. Um, what we're really excited about is our wide-bodied aircraft connections through to Toronto and Montreal. Um, as you can see just on this uh, slide, the duration of time, they are wide-bodied aircraft. It's the same aircraft from uh, Sydney to Vancouver to Toronto. Um, the elapsed flying time is quite brief, well, 21 hours, uh, but the connection time is superb in uh, Vancouver. Uh, Montreal is one hour and 45 minutes, so that's a great connection time. Um, really happy with those, and it is a full wide-body service all the way through. One of our key uh, selling points for um, Australia is, of course, uh, the connections through to the USA. And again, we're really pleased to tell you about New York. Our New York um, service is into Newark from Vancouver. It's a non-stop flight. It's a wide-bodied aircraft. The elapsed flying time is 21 uh, hours and eight minutes. It's one of the fastest to New York, and we're quite proud of that. Um, so it's a wide-body service all the way through. The reason why we uh, have success is that we are now building up our uh, hubs again in um, Canada. We have four main hubs, Vancouver, um, which mainly handles the Pacific, Calgary. We have Toronto, which is our major hub, and Montreal, which handles the uh, French uh, side of, our, uh, of Canada. Um, we are the largest international airline into the USA, and we are the largest airline within Canada. So we're building back our uh, destinations, and especially focusing on USA and Mexico and also into Europe and into Asia. 
uh, connecting at Vancouver Airport is such an important airport. Well, I would say probably the best on the west coast of um, the, the US, North America. Um, it is the same terminal connection. It is all under one roof. It's a brilliant airport. It's comforting. It's quiet. Uh, it's peaceful. Um, you have customs pre-clearance in um, Vancouver, so you arrive as a, virtually as a domestic passenger into the USA, which is a key selling point. It also, because of the duration and the ease of transiting in Canada, uh, in Vancouver, it is usually a shorter elapsed flying time when you're connecting uh, over Vancouver than you are uh, perhaps with LA or San Fran. Um, especially if you're going on into the USA, it is a key selling point and Vancouver Airport is just such a major partner with Air Canada. We're very proud of that. So uh, economy class, uh, just to go through the aircraft at the moment, economy class um, in this picture is a 787, uh, which normally flies into Brisbane and or to Melbourne when we return to Melbourne and also in Portland. Um, at the moment, we are having a 777 into Sydney, and that aircraft allows for 343 in the configuration in the economy class. All um, seats have touchscreen videos. We also are very fortunate to have a premium economy cabin, and that cabin has just a small um, size cabin. There's only three rows of those seats. Uh, the first two rows are our footrest. The first row has no footrest, but it has a bit greater uh, space there. Um, so this offers you a larger seat, extra legroom, and also priority airport services. So uh, we have a third class, and we're very proud of this class. This is our signature class, which is a rebranded business class name. And they are pods. Um, they are uh, fully life lap beds. Um, we have state-of-the-art uh, video touchscreens, massive screen, uh, duvets, um, ex extra service, great meal services as well, uh, fantastic priority check-ins and all those sorts of facilities that go with that uh, booking class. Uh, there are 40 seats uh, in um, the 777. And this is just a snapshot of what is happening with the Sydney Van uh, Coover flight. Um, as you can see, the uh, configuration, the rows, the seat pitch and everything is uh, on this slide. I won't go through the details for you. With um, our um, premium um, travellers, our business class travellers, our signature class travellers, and also our uh, elite members, they do have access to our Maple Leaf lounges. We, do, uh, uh, we are reopening our lounges throughout uh, our network. Um, and in Australia, we use the Air New Zealand uh, lounge as part of our staff. Um, we have priority services that is in, uh, for our, again, for our business class passengers or our premium economy passengers as well. Um, and also our elite status uh, members of the aeroplan. They are priority boarding and priority check-ins as well. We also have uh, priority um, baggage for our customers as well. Part of that service is also our concierge service. Our concierge service um, permits, um, again, business class travellers maybe having issues at check-in or having tight connections at uh, transiting airports. They are there to help. Um, it is one of the few services like this through the airline industry. And we're very, very proud of them. Again, it is for certain members and for business class travellers or signature service customers. So just finally, we have changed our baggage policy. Um, Air Canada's uh, baggage for economy is one free bag, and the second bag is now $100 per direction, unless they are using what we call a latitude fare or their Star Alliance goal, where the second bag is free. Premium economy uh, is free uh, for first and second bag, and then the signature class, of course, is uh, um, first for two. Our elite uh, membership, our aeroplan elite membership, uh, do get three bags. And that is it. I might have gone brief on my talk, but one thing I'd like to also just say is thank you for your ongoing support. We're back and we're really, really looking forward to getting you on board and also your customers. So thank you very, very much.